back. We heard from Joe Harris with Michael Grady on the court at the end of the game. He met the media just a short time ago. Let's hear some more sound from Joe. Hey, Joe. Um, you guys were up 23 in the third. They cut it down to eight, and then you guys go on an eight and zero run, um, and then they cut it back down to ten uh, in the fourth quarter, and then you guys kind of just blow it wide open. Can you just and and also the same thing happened in San Antonio yesterday, right? Well, two days ago, right? The Spurs go on a run late to close the fourth quarter, and then you guys kind of blow it open in overtime in that game. Can you talk about the way that you guys have started to respond to adversity at this point in the season versus the way you guys may have responded to adversity earlier in the season? Yeah, I think it just shows the maturity of the group. I mean, we realize that, you know, teams are going to make runs. Um, I give them points over the course of the game, um, and in particular, late in games, too. Um, you know, they kind of got it going there, shooting-wise. Uh, they started making some shots, hitting some tough uh, contested threes, finishing at the rim, getting some fouls. Um, but, you know, we just kind of stay resilient, honestly. And a lot of that falls on, you know, the guys that are at the top, you know, you got Steve, James, Kai, DJ, Jeff Green, like everybody's is so even keel that, you know, when they, when teams do make those runs, you know, they're relaying the uh, information back to the team talking about just, you know, we're standing it, staying with it. And, uh, you know, we've been able to kind of hold off some of the momentum and push it from, from uh, uh, the Spurs the other night and then the Rockets tonight. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Joe, I'm just curious what you've thought of Nick's recent play. I want to say one of the only guys on the roster that was able to play with him last year. And, you know, he's only played 20 games in, in 20 months or so. I mean, is he still a rookie in your eyes in some ways? Or is he kind of showing you enough to, to where he's he's he doesn't have that mantra anymore? Yeah, I mean, definitely not a rookie anymore. Um, but, I mean, it's not like we make the rookies really do anything anyways. You, you could have clacked probably could have got by all last year. He would have never realized that he was a rookie. Um but uh, he's played really well for us. He's been huge um, coming back. I think for him, a lot of it was just trying to get, obviously get healthy, get your body right, um, you know, because it's tough. You know, when you're sitting out that long, um, he's missed, a, you know, a majority of his NBA career. And he's really just trying to to play, get out and compete. And, uh, you know, for him to come out, just be able to, to compete on a nightly basis, you know, it's, it's huge for him. But he, he's shown a lot, you know, in terms of, um, playing off of guys, competing, being in the right spots, and, uh, and uh, you know, giving us a lift off the bench. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Joe. Uh, James was saying earlier that he was, uh, you know, he credited some of his early turnovers to just being so fired up and trying to do too much while he was out there. Um, one, could you sense as he was settling into the game and uh, could you tell how much this, game meant to him to come back here and play in Houston? Yeah, I think, I mean, any time that you have given so much to a city, you've been a part of it, you know, this is a, a fabric of, of his DNA as a basketball player. You know, majority of his career has been spent here and, uh, you know, it, it obviously means a lot to him. But, you know, with James, the same thing, you, you would never know coming into it. I mean, he's still same, uh, you know, pregame sort of ritual preparation, he was locked in, focused um, from the start, and to be honest, I didn't, I didn't even really notice any sort of, uh, you know, jitters, anything like that. But you could definitely tell, you know, that he that he wanted this one.